First thing you want to do is download this. I'm going to download it to my desktop. Ideally, it's going to end up on a jump drive or something that you can take with you. So if you use it on one computer and you put it on the jump drive, you can use it on another computer and all of your information, all the problems that you've done, that should all still be. Here I'm saving it to the desktop first because that is a little bit um, quicker. And then once I have it extracted, then we can put it onto a jump drive. Now that it's on the desktop, you can see it's a folder with a zipper on it. We need to unzip this. The only reason it was zipped in the first place is so that you wouldn't have to download 900 and some odd pictures. If you don't unzip it, the programming side of it will not work. So you really do need to unzip this. But once you do it once, you shouldn't have to do it again. To avoid confusion, I would go so far as to delete, delete the zippered folder, the zipped folder. So now this folder, I'm going to open up this file. And because it has some code, you're going to get a message that asks if you want to enable macros. Basically, there's code with this file. Do you trust it? So you'll hit this options button, hit enable, and hit OK. Here's a general message I put there. Now you're set to go. This is a file that, by the way, has to be stored in the same level, if you will, as all of these images to work. And should you have different versions of the file, you can just plop them in here and they'll, they'll work fine. But now that the file is open, I'm going to show you uh, how to use it. The short version is hit the button. and you'll get uh, this screen or some version. I know I'll be changing it from time to time. Uh, you may want to see if there's an update. You can do that by copying and pasting this link in. Alternatively, you can click on this link and it'll bring you to this Google Doc where I will be keeping some help videos and some other information. Right now I'm on version 36 but it could be down the line there's more versions in fact there almost certainly uh, will be so that's where you can check to see if you've got the latest and greatest or latest and latest again the short version of how to run this press the button press the button and now you can take some uh, quizzes now I'm going to record a different video about the details of how to use it but that's how you want to make sure you have it installed so once you have it all unzipped and open you can save it so it stores your information and you can go ahead and drag this folder onto a jump drive or wherever you may like to store it and then it'll work in any computer uh, that you use so the big thing to remember is that the folder when you initially download it from the web is a zipped folder. It has to be so I can give you all those 900 and some odd picture files. You have to unzip it. Usually that's by right clicking and clicking unzip. Once it's unzipped this folder can be moved to wherever you want the the file to live probably on a jump drive. Then you just open up this file and all of your information will be stored in the one spreadsheet. All the other files are just just pictures.